<clears throat> twin brothers born in separate places at separate times to separate mothers each with twin dragons tattooed on their flesh to make them really really powerful but also really really weak that is the edgiest backstory that there is and nothing to do with us what we did instead was ran in fear through three or five floors of the dungeon with one HP. Yeah. Wow. And our reward was that now death stalks are, are in our footsteps. <laughs> yeah. Reward. <laughs> well played. Yeah. Um. It's hard to explain what killed me. Yeah. Yeah. It was a very, a very high speed bat being launched via uh, an arrow cannon. Right. It, it confuses me too. I have to uh, play that one back, I guess. Maybe hard mode with death this is not um, not the best option. I mean, I uh... <laughs> yeah, I, I remember like some kind of sensible voice warning me, but who might listen? Ah. Well, you got the, well, like, you got the dragon and something. I killed the dragon. The bat got me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, maybe normal mode. Hmm. Death. Yeah. Backlight. <laughs> a challenge we can do. I also forgot that I always play this guy when I'm a rogue. The chicken thief. The chicken thief? I don't know. I used to scream that like I'm going to take all your chickens while I, while I played this chap. He just looks like the kind of gentleman that might steal chickens for a living. Right. He had a voice as well, but I can't remember it off. I'm going to get all your chickens. Get out of my chickens from me. It was something like that. I could do the entire episode right. in character, but I'd better not. My guy's just the red mage, but uh, with all the colours washed out. Hmm. The red mage part prior to discovering magic. Yeah. Careful with those, remember that they'll one hit kill you. Oh no. Well, what killed you? I got a goblin living underwater. Nah, as they do. It's lurking at the bottom of a pond, ready to jump out and ruin my day. I mean, you're still super deadly as a skeleton. I assume I am. Wow. Wow. <laughs> maybe maybe death yeah. acolyte mode isn't for us. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't even take down a dragon. Yeah. It's just going to be the episode where we just repeatedly do runs with de uh, death acolyte. <laughs> <laughs> if they were lasting slightly longer, I'd be tempted to. Uh, could do a couple more. It might just be a matter of getting used to it. Yeah. Maybe it's our mission to just get to the end of this level. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do the best that I feel like uh, we can. I feel like stealth would be incredibly powerful with this. If we can get to the end of this level and unlock it. Yeah, that's true. Part of my brain was like, we could, one of us could start with a level up, but that. It's not. <laughs> it doesn't work like I mean, that. My brain keeps trying to tell me the same thing. Why are you doing this challenge without using experienced? Hmm. 
lives so far. Just need to figure out a safe way to fight the dragon. Stab him three times. I'd love to. Uh, if you can get in there and nice. <laughs> if you can get in there and exactly that. Oh, a chicken! Amazing. Hmm. about crossbows? Uh, I don't mind. If you want a crossbow, you take a crossbow. I don't particularly want a crossbow. I'll have it then. I'd rather use a regular bow. Yeah, did you see that? Yeah. Yeah, I'd use was the that, I'd it? use the jump potion. Looked like you went through the several floors. It felt like it went through several floors. Hmm. Quite a jump. Hmm. Maybe we should just keep the chicken alive for safe traveling. Yeah. Did we did we open the key box thing? Yeah, All right. that's where we got the crossbow. There we go. Level 1 done. Super easy. I don't know what we were worried about. Yeah, no problem. You killed the chicken. I did, yeah. Who's going to be our friend? <laughs> the chicken wouldn't have been your friend. Why not? Because it's chicken. Chickens can't have friendships. It's forbidden by the chicken king. Did you go stealth? Mm. Yeah. I went dagger. I just really like the thrown dagger. It's so unviable, but it makes me feel happy. <laughs> Could probably kill him by just stabbing him while he's on the floor, traveling around. the chance. Okay, so this is a special exit. Special boss won't know what hit. What the? Okay. Did something silly kill you? Uh, that slime attacked me while I was invisible. Look for stealth, I guess. Yeah. I feel like stealth doesn't really work in this game. I don't know what it's meant to do, but whatever it is, I don't think it does it. It used to work really well. Like I primarily went stealth build back in beta. Here he comes. Excuse me, Senor Worm. S'il vous plaît. How'd they go? I did very little damage to him. Gotta go for his head. His head is the weak point. I thought the idea was to use uh, curving attacks to hit multiple segments of his body. Um, depends on the weapon. I don't think it works well with daggers and bows. Oh, you had a club though. Well, yeah. I was yeah, I was using a club. Yeah, I was only doing like seven damage. Hmm. Good. It's not very useful then. Oh, we're not getting this chest, are we? No. No. I've just had a thought. Yeah. Cuts uh, 20 HP to revive somebody. Mmm. 
that's a problem. Maybe the death modifier doesn't maybe, thing? Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> Apparently not. Cool. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. I would have much la rather fed you to a sacrifice altar, but hey -o. Identify scrolls? No. I've got a scroll of uncursed though, so if you really want to go around um, equipping random things, you can. Oh, it's just it's potions. Ah, okay. I normally save my identifies for those if, if nobody's playing a mage. I am quite scared of po potions, to be honest. <laughs> One poison potion and bleh. Yeah, exactly. That's why I use all my identifies on potions. A curse is a relatively mild inconvenience. Um, we might struggle but with these mages. We don't actually have upwards of. Oh, I suppose we got our bows. Yeah. Underwhelmed by the power of the uh, Death Acolyte. Yeah. I, I think it's like five times yeah. damage, to be fair. Yeah. After means I'm doing five damage. Yeah. and everything dies in one hit including you Finn, it would have been a bit more viable yeah I mean these aren't even bosses and they're taking three or four hits yeah I will admit I'm not sure how we're expecting to get through this wait were you expecting to get through this oh yeah absolutely we're gonna win <laughs> oh that's bullshit <laughs> did a plunging attack you, sir, have been playing too much Dark Souls. Banned. Just play a real man's game like Demon Souls. I was about to say, please play safely. Remember, one hit and it's game over. Curse out all over here. Don't have any items, sir. Well, I just found a really cool cursed item. I don't know what to do, but yeah. I know that they're cursed. <laughs> Are these boots? Yeah. Oh, what the? Oh, he started the boss, I see. 
while I was looking at the item you sent me. Uh, flee. <laughs> Actually, I like to. I did like 50 points of damage to him, but it's not really enough. No. He has thousands. Yeah. Seems to do sometimes, doesn't he? Yeah, let me know if you find an identifier so I can figure out what these god curse do. I do not have identify. Just wear it. Or I'll wear it. Jumping enemies deals damage. Plus one defense. <laughs> Is that it? Wait, these aren't even god cursed. Oh. These aren't even cursed. Oh, something in my inventory is cursed. Well, good to know. It's probably one of these ones then. I, I did chuck a big pile on the um, curse thing. So I've got, I've got a couple of rods that are probably god cursed. Junk, jumping on enemies deals damage though, that's pretty powerful. Yeah, I suppose so. I'm actually really glad that that spider decided to do absolutely nothing for the vast majority of our time together. I guess certain enemies can just see you while you're invisible. Yeah, I guess. I guess anything that's got like um, dark vision or whatever. Not dark vision, but. Hmm. You probably like this. You probably like this spear a lot. Okay, there's some boots there for you, by the way. I literally just uh, <laughs> I literally just bought a pair of uh, jumping on enemies deals damage boots. I assumed they'd be great. Okay. I'll wear your ones because they look a little bit cooler. So, uh, I, mean, I guess it's gonna have more reach. Yeah, it's got like the overhead thing, and you don't have any levels in a uh, knife, right? Steel's kind of wasted though, and it doesn't have anything else on it. Yeah, it's got decent damage though, and like if all of the damage has been multiplied by five, you probably want big hits rather than quick hits. I don't, I don't really know. Scared of the boss as well. Haven't seen it yet. But he's down here. Hmm. Sweet. Oh, baby. I just regenerated one hit point. Oh, nice. oh, two hit points. You're unkillable. Oh, he's oh, the worst boss as well. The one that yes. quite easily accidentally hits you. Yeah. Uh, well, kindly. Well, it's always him, isn't it, when there's those little plants on the ground? What little plants? What, you mean the, the ones that poison ivy things? The ones that, no, the ones that work like uh, parts. You can pick up and throw. Oh, do those only happen when he's around? No, they're on every I level, so. I think. I think. Or every level of the forest. 
to be clear. Actually, no idea. Oh, the X is down here. Yeah, I'll probably just calmly shuffle past him. I could leave, or I could fight him. It's really tempting to fight him. I feel like you could take him. Get close to them, but the uh, plant things are basically unstoppable. The little vines that he creates so, are uh, not easy. <laughs> they do die in one hit, though. Yeah. He could just. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, they go on forever. If he would just come down here. Uh, I'm gonna have to flee. It's madness. Uh, Wisp boss might be a bit more possible. I can't believe I wasted that bomb like that. What was I thinking? <laughs> hmm. Do you know katars are fist weapons and not daggers? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, they punch makes, daggers. Makes sense, but a bit disappointing. One more floor? Yeah. One more floor, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I guess you do get. Have, are they, did they patch it recently? I have no idea. Those things feel very new to me. I feel like I've only seen them on floors of the other boss before now. They are they are oh. new since the forest got its big update and started to look nice and everything. I'm doing two damage to the golems, by the way. What with? Uh, bow. Ha. Ah. Did you wear the boots that hurt things when you jump on people too? Yeah, I've cleared them for a while. Yeah. Well, I assume we still got three of them. We're just not wearing all three of them. Yeah, probably. Probably just gonna leave that boss alone for a while. <laughs> Doesn't seem worth approaching him from this angle. He's got enough defense that we do the same damage with Death's Acolyte that we uh, do without it, so. I meant the boss goal specifically, but. Uh, he's not gonna have less defense than these golems, right? No. Yeah, you're right. Why can't I. Why is my bow broken? Can't aim my bow up and down. Oh, sweet. Is it your controller? I don't think so. Since I can crouch just fine. Some nice new items here. Well, there's a yeah. decent glass dagger. It's not amazing, but. I can look up and down just fine, but I can't aim my bow up and down. Tried unequipping and reequipping your book. Yeah. Hmm. 
Well, we got the level up. Okay. Might as well get out of here then. Are we trying to go the secret path? Oh uh, yeah. I suppose we have to deal with the boss, don't yep. we? Yeah, agreed. My dagger of shocking will make short work of me <laughs> if I ever fall into a pond. <laughs> I only just thought of that as well. Oh no! No! Flee! Flee! Flee, you fool! You're a dead man. You get the occasional nice crit before all damage. Easy. Yes. Stealth assassination ability is really paying off with that. He's uh he's not doing that much though to be fair. I feel like we could get him. If only I had a way to attack downwards. <laughs> oh no! No That's why I wasn't doing that. Well because I mean one of us doing it is fine, but both of us doing it at once? Yeah. Asking that's for trouble. Yeah, I kind, of, <laughs> kind of expected that ending to what I was doing there as well, but there's no choice. Oh, there he goes again. You come out in the open so I can jump on you, sir? Not quite what I meant. Can you stand in the doorway and shoot at him while he's doing that? I guess there is the fear that he will... I mean, I could do it. I could aim my bow. I wish we had the thing that shows you how much health I've got. Mm. Ring of the Zygox? Zygox? Yeah. yeah. Like that. Is, uh, when he's throwing overhead while under there, I think his boulders are just hitting the ceiling and breaking. If that helps. So he's probably quite safe to shoot at just now. Oh, I can aim again. Hey! <laughs> We've got this. Unless he somehow slips through the gap. Hey! There we go. All you need to do is survive to the secret exit. Mm -hmm. Do we? Uh, do we know where that is? Yes, it's on the top right. Oh yeah, I see it. Did we check if there was anything in the shop? Uh, I did. There's a glass blade that's like plus one look. Look. Plus one look. Okay, I'll hold on to the baton instead, I think. Yeah. Free heals. So Easy game. <laughs> Yes, we wrap up the episode. <laughs> and uh, we'll be joining you next time when we do the Horrible Trap Dungeon on one hit point. Hooray! Horrible Trap... Oh, wait, what? No! <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is how it ends. See you all then. Bye, guys.